everybody and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So the kayaking world and the scuba diving world seem to be joining forces. So kayaks are amazing. Um, there's a reason why they've been around for the past 4,000 years or so. Wow, pretty much since the dawn of time. 6,000 years. Yeah, exactly. So um, yeah, 2,000 years of nothing and then they create the kayak. Um, basically, kayaks offer amazing transport to our oceans, rivers, lakes, and it's no surprise that they're now being used by scuba divers. Good old scuba divers. Now, shore diving, rib diving, and obviously liverboards are, of course, super popular when it comes to scuba diving and scuba divers. But it turns out there's a massive rise in scuba divers buying a kayak and just going off either by themselves, which is a massive no-no, yeah. or, you know, they go off with their buddies and have an adventure you know, to pretty much wherever they can go with a kayak. Yeah. So buying a kayak is a lot less expensive than buying a rib or even renting a dive boat is just cheaper. Yeah. In the long run. In the long run, if of you course, do it yeah. A lot. Um, they're more portable. There's a lot smaller. You don't need a trailer. You don't have to figure out how to reverse a trailer. Yep. Ugh. Whoa, they'll we'll break the, the set. set. Um, if you have a rack or a roof rack on your car, then you can pretty much take it anywhere that a road goes. Or you can um, buy an inflatable one. Yeah, just never puncture it. Yep. Um, so yeah, to be honest, it, it isn't a big surprise that our two worlds are finally starting to combine. Uh, and if you're tight on storage at home as well, your kayak could even store your dive gear. So it really is a win-win. You just kind of store it all and Together. wherever your kayak fits, your dive kit Gears fits inside. inside. Cool, man. You know, no, you don't have to take your wife's wedding dress out to put your dry suit up at the end of the dive. I've never done that. Mm. <laughs> That's right, because it's my wedding dress. <laughs> anyway, even after all of what Marcus just said, there's one more thing that gives kayaking a great push. It's actually super easy to learn, and you can pick up the basic skill set in a 20-minute lesson. Obviously, of course, you're going to need to build up your skill set afterwards to make you a more confident user of the kayak. But, you know, that's easy to do. You know, just go out on a kayak with your mates, and then while you're there, go for a dive. Yeah. Win win. Hmm. Happy days. Uh, now, of course, you will need to make sure that all of your gear is properly stowed away and, like, hooked up before you set off. You don't want your weight belt just going bloop and gone. Yeah. Or your camera or something more expensive. Yeah. Um, but... Or sink your kayak. It's already... Or oh, it's top end. <laughs> sink up the Titanic. <laughs> it snaps. Uh, um, but actually, if everything is kind of set up uh, and sort of ready, then it's, it's a lot easier for you to get into the water and then sort of go for a couple of dives with your kayak. Um, eventually, once you've done it a few times, you'll kind of get into the groove yeah. and figure out, oh, it's actually easier if I hook it up this way. That way I can just kind of shimmy yeah. get them. Also as well, like, if you take it on certain dives, you go back to a dive site, there might be things that you don't necessarily need to take. Yeah. So it might streamline some of your kit as well, which isn't always a good, well, it's not always a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, just make sure that you've got the essentials. And yeah, the you've got the essentials. Um, you anchor up, you're good with your knots. Come back and you find out this is just like the end of the line. <laughs> like, oh, oh no. no, that's a long swim home. Um, and, um, or yeah, I don't know, if you can use it as an SMB, just tow it along, that yeah. suck, but. Yeah, well, no, all you gotta do is dive down, anchor on some coral, really jam it in there. We do not condone anchoring. Oh yeah, oh, you're getting the hammer, you're going further with it. <laughs> all right, okay. Yeah, as long as that's all done. So what's actually the bad side? Well, to be honest with you, there isn't much. I guess if you're more an elven, inexperienced diver, going off, you know, you can get into a bit more trouble, but then heck, that could pretty much happen to any scuba diver. You're going out there, yeah. you can always get into trouble. Mm. So if you could carry on with the scripts or actually can continue reading, Sorry. thank you very much. I got distracted thinking yeah. about an anecdote that I could have said, but don't worry. All right, you don't want to say it? Basically, a lot of the gear crosses over, you're going to be in a wetsuit. So yeah, you might as well wear that wetsuit yeah. and jump in. Jump in. Well, your life jacket should be CD. Yeah. It's attached to a cylinder. If you turtle, you've got a regulator. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be wearing your cylinder to kayak out. That would <laughs> suck. <laughs> you could do. Who knows, maybe someone does. But yeah, you just got to take your time with it, basically. Yeah. If this happens more and more, this is, seems to be going more in the mainstream of scuba diving. Um, yeah, just take your time with it. Like Mark says, find your groove, 
And you know, we should be fine with it, really. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, kayaks aren't going to replace ribs or a, a proper liveaboard anytime soon, but they will offer a way that divers can go off to the lakes or down rivers in their hometown to which they couldn't really before. So, to answer the question in the title, are kayaks and scuba diving a good mix? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they could be like if you have a liverboard, yeah. So there could be a permanent dock. So they use a rib to get you to the boat. Mm -hmm. You have the boat there permanently, but on the side, there's kayaks. And you can go and kayak yeah. as long as, like, you can have GPS tracking on the kayaks yeah. for companies. Mm -hmm. Then that means then you're not tied to it. If you want to go for a night dive, you can. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's going to be certain regulations and you have to have certain tickets to do it. Yes. But in theory, yeah. It could give you a lot more freedom even in the living board, the liverboard world. Yeah. It'll make diving more accessible, accessible. Yeah. because you don't have to wait or find and pay for a rib or anything. Yeah. You can just take the kayak out and then... Yeah, literally, you so you, you pay for the board, like literally the liverboard's a hotel, mm. you rent out the kayak, you put insurance on that so if anything happens, you can go off, go to your dive site, yeah. stay there for a couple of hours, you can even buy two, so you can have a, a kayak for yourself and your buddy. Mm. And then, well, no, you wouldn't even need that. You could literally have a trailer on the end of the kayak with yeah. all your scuba diving gear. Yeah. So you can actually potentially stay longer out there. Mm. Anyway. Copyright Sean Johnson, 2019. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about kayaks and scuba diving, mixing it up? Um, do you think if it picks up, it will uh, sort of lead to more problems or more people scuba diving? Um, a bit of both. Both. <laughs> both. both. Uh, what do you guys think? Let's have a chat in the comments. If you enjoyed today's episode, then why not give it a like? Uh, share it with your diving buddies to keep things, uh, or basically to keep up to date with all things scuba diving. We always diving. mess that line up. Well, I always mess it. I need to rewrite that. Uh, of course, smash on that little bell icon. Um, don't press it too hard. Yeah, you don't want to crack it. Yeah, everyone else is smashing on it. You just, just click it gently. Um, thank you for watching and safe diving. I'm not going to say safe kayaking. Why didn't you say that was in the script? Safe kayaking and safe diving. I'd skip. It's that time of year again. That's right. The Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.